So I think it is really a reminder to investors that there's still a huge amount of stimulus from the central bank and the government to, to support the recovery of the economy. So I think the bearish sentiment towards the end of last week is failing to gain traction. I think, you know, the corporate buying program is really unprecedented. Uh, the Fed was buying just the ETF, but now they're buying individual corporate bonds. So they effectively have backstopped the bond market. So I think investors have less worry about the potential for bankruptcy for these companies. And I think this gesture is also helping a lot of banks because banks hold a lot of this corporate credit. So I think this is helpful. And I think the Main Street Lending Program is also providing credit directly to large corporates. And this is effectively giving credit to all walks of uh, life in the economy. So this is really huge backstop there. And also for the um, potential one trillion stimulus program uh, suggested by President Trump, this again is a reminder that uh, there could still be more to come on the fiscal stimulus side, which will be the focus. And I think this will be very helpful for growth going forward. I mean, the recovery is not going to be easy, but there is definitely huge support out there from the government and the central bank. And that really has encouraged investor sentiment again. Clearly has inv encouraged investor sentiment as we're seeing very strong gains across the globe when we look at equity markets uh, in recent trade. But then you look at the coronavirus numbers themselves and we are seeing a rise in cases in the U.S. And to me, this begs the question, how do you reconcile the ongoing health crisis that remains very much unresolved with this new stimulus? Can the stimulus actually compensate, overcompensate for the continued health concerns? Yeah, I think mean, there is. Uh, always health concern with regard to the virus. It is still there. Social distancing is still there. We're still having cases globally. But I think compared to at the start of the pandemic, we are definitely seeing more clarity. For example, we have more progress on the development of a vaccine. There's a global race to develop a vaccine uh, by top niche companies. And there's a lot of government support behind that development of vaccine as well. So it is quite optimistic that um, we'll get a vaccine at some point, so this issue can be solved. And I think a lot of people are having more awareness of the virus, they're getting more protection for themselves, like wearing masks on public transport. And I think, for example, there are new cases uh, in Beijing, and the Beijing government, they have promptly um, locked down a number of communities. I mean, not a, like a huge lockdown, but they're really targeted at the sources of the virus spread. So I think governments globally, they definitely have more experience in dealing with a potential second wave. And I think with the progress of a vaccine, potentially more management experience and people having more awareness, I think there's definitely more optimism on eventually beating the virus.